the bills are starting to really come out at a fast pace now, and we are approaching the midway point in the session. Next week will be the last week for committee hearings, and any bills not actually heard by next week in committee will no longer have a chance of surviving and being heard the rest of the session. Last week, I was uh, unable to cover the fact that we covered the uh, school starting date which is a very big importance to our local schools up there. Uh, that bill failed, by the way, of a vote of 25 to 23, but it can be brought back one more day. It has eligibility to be brought back for reconsideration because the constitutionality of 26 votes needed for defeat wasn't reached. So uh, there's a chance that it may be brought back again, but as it stands right now, the school dates will remain as they are. Also, uh, we've had on the calendar uh, Senate Bill 575, which is the Teachers Collective Bargaining Bill. It's been eligible to be voted on now for a week, but it has not been called down. Uh, it's a very, very touchy subject down here because of the uh, teachers' contracts and the ability of, uh, or I should say, the uh, uh, components within that bill that are going to be taken away from the teachers of what they can bargain for and what they can't. So, that is eligible for a third vote anytime they want to call it down, and that will, uh, that will definitely be a lot of the discussion and probably a lot of uh, uh, issues brought forward about that particular uh, bill. Uh, the unemployment bill is going to be heard this afternoon in the Senate committee, and uh, it just came over from the House, so they've got that also kind of on a fast-forward track. So many things happening right now, 